in this video, we're taking a look at the brand new Cast Off LSW. I have a class setup that's gonna be good both in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer as well as Warzone. We're taking advantage of a no recoil fast TTK setup. What more could you ask for? Now, let me know down in the comment section right now, what are your opinions on the new Cast Off LSW? If you guys enjoy, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications. Let's get into it. Right, let's go ahead and create the absolute best and fastest killing cast off LSW class setup. This is like an AR within a 100 round drum. Overall, a great light machine gun. In my personal opinion, the best one in the game right now. For the muzzle, we are going to be rocking the Quartermaster Suppressor. This is going to be a massive W on the cast off LSW, improving our recoil control, gun kick control, and taking us off the radar. No matter if you're playing multiplayer or Warzone, this is the best attachment because we want to be able to have a zero recoil setup, but still have the ability to get behind their spawn and build up a quick and easy streak. Make sure you guys have this on your setup. Now, for the barrel, we are going to be rocking the Elevator D20 Long Barrel. This is also going to be a great attachment on the Cast Off LSW because we're going to have improved damage range, bullet velocity, as well as firing aiming stability. Now, the cons are not going to be slowing down the aim down sight speed, which is a massive W on a light machine gun class setup because that's something we do not want to have happen unnecessarily. This is going to allow us to outgun players at those medium to longer ranges very, very easily. Now, luckily for the underbarrel, we do have access to the brand new paracord grip, which is going to be amazing because we're taking advantage of everything a light machine gun needs. We have improved sprint to fire speed, aim idle sway, aim walking steadiness, as well as horizontal recoil. So we can not only take advantage of those close to medium range gun fights, but long range gun fights as well. No cons, just the way I like it. Overall, a fantastic attachment to rock on the cast of LSW. Now, we're skipping over ammunition. We do not need to run any of these. We are not gonna run a magazine. It's not necessary, but we are gonna be rocking a rear grip on this LMG, and I do recommend running the Weave L7 grip. This is gonna be giving us improved gun kick control and recoil control. That's it. The cons are gonna be completely irrelevant because we need to have a no recoil loadout. We can go full auto across the map without worrying about a thing. And then finally, we are gonna be going ahead and skipping over the stock. These are not necessary on this class setup, but we are going to rock an optic. The iron sights are not the best, so the jet glassless is gonna be a massive W, giving us a precision optic picture, more firing aiming stability, and less visual recoil. Overall, a great attachment to rock on the cast of LSW. Once you go ahead and create this class setup, you're going to be very, very happy because once you jump into the firing range, you're going to see here that we have a setup that is still going to have a fast ADS, and this is a light machine gun. The aim walking speed is going to be respectable for a light machine gun, and we are going to have a very, very controllable recoil pattern, which is going to be something you guys are definitely going to take advantage of, both in multiplayer as well as Warzone. Now, for the remainder of the build, I do recommend going ahead and rocking the Renetti. Overall, a fantastic secondary here we have on the Carbine Kit, transforming this light machine gun into a light machine gun, excuse me, transforming this pistol into a submachine gun. We have on the 50 round drum, we are gonna be rocking the SO Skeletal Vertical Grip. We have the compensated flash hider, as well as the slate reflector for ease of use at those medium ranges. Do not forget to equip stem shot, munitions box, scavenger gloves, covert sneakers, compression plate, phone conduction headset, as well as the comms vest, which is amazing, even on an LMG build, because we're going to be able to have a 24-7 UAV every time you kill somebody and run over their body, they're dropping a radar beacon, let you know exactly where everybody is at. The cast off LSW overall, in my personal opinion, the best LMG we have right now here in Modern Warfare 3, as well as Warzone. If you guys enjoy, feel free. Drop a like on the vid, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this light machine gun. All right, let's get busy with the cast off LSW. Hands down, the best LMG in the game right now. The thing about the cast off LSW is it's literally like an assault rifle with an 100 round drum. That's what I think with this weapon, man, because it's insane how immobile it is, yet effective. 
at virtually any and all ranges now we're gonna be running a no recoil setup there is another build you can rock with this weapon to really go ahead and remove and i mean remove all of the recoil but it is going to slow down the aim down sight speed unnecessarily this build that i'm running right now has low enough recoil that you literally don't have to worry about anything and i think this is a nice compromise because you can go you know full auto across the map and still outgun players very 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 easily while still having you know not a insanely slow aim down sight speed this guy is okay gg bro just make the riot shield trash please like it's a silly gimmick weapon it should not be insanely effective to the point where if you see somebody running at you with a shield you're dead Reload. I gotta watch out for that kid with that sniper, for real. Enemies inside the perimeter. Oh, he left. Yes. There's that riot shield guy, bro. Come on. There's a thermite when you need it. But I should have known. Reloading. Enemies inside the perimeter. Friendly VTOL inbound. Good shit with that VTOL, we definitely need that. Point I mean, we might be able to make a comeback. If this teammate can get an advance, something might happen. Low key. Overwatch. Oh my god, he got an advanced. Come on, bro. Where is... I need ammo. We can make it make this comeback.
I got you, teammate. Don't worry. You about to make this comeback. That guy, this guy has to be close. Like, he's on a 25. Damn, I think they all they all left too. Yeah, is there there? Yeah, they they rage quit all. They all left. Wow, we made the comeback though. That's. Wow, dude. Wow, dude. They really just hit the dash. That's that's nuts. They dead ass hit the dash. Wow, dude. <laughs> All right, Skippies with the cast off LSW. We are on emergency. This is actually a pretty. Uh, I don't know if this is actually an insane map for this. It might be good. It might be bad. I'm not 100 percent sure. Looks like the spawns flipped though. Oh, they flipped. Hello. Oh, keep this UAV up. Keep the UAVs up, boys. And the fact that we still got guys rocking MCWs is kind of question. It's kind of weird. Like we got, they got new DLC weapons and they're like CDL skins too. It's not like these DLC weapons are bad either. Like these things actually kind of hit. I think I hit by a stun grenade. That boy just got turned on pretty bad. Bond should not flip on us. Should not. It might though. I think they are. Oof. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I literally ran into a Simtex, bro. Like that was just perfect timing for him, for real. Rotate over here. Damn, bro. This guy's still rocking that. Uh, oh no, he pulled out a fucking striker nine. You know, he's sweating. Bro was pulling out a striker nine. I, you know what? Honestly, I thought my teammate. You tell me I had no teammate that went ahead and stopped that. They got him now. I literally just bypassed that cause like bro I got teammates spawning up on me. There's no way this kid's gonna be able to run back. And he did. Point relocating. Stand by. I don't even know why I decided to trust my teammate. Where did this guy come from? 
Oh, he spawned literally behind me. Well, they should be crossing. They should be. And they should not be spawning behind me. They should not be spawning behind me. They should be spawning directly in front of me to the left. Now they spawned behind me. Damn, the entire team spawned behind me. There's somebody on the hill already. Can I shoot through that? With an LMG, I feel like you should be able to shoot through that crate. Come on, y'all. That guy pulled out a Holger, bro. You know he's like, and he's sweating incredibly hard. I mean, there's new DLC guns out, and this guy is still rocking the Striker 9 and the Holger. Yikes. That is a huge, huge yikes, bro. Good shit. Good shit. I swear I didn't see that kid. That's probably what's happening. Like that guy is dying so many times like on the hill that he's just he's literally just spawning behind me. That's literally what's happening. I bet you he probably has like 30 plus deaths in here. I mean, he's playing the objective hard as hell, but that's literally why that kid is spawning where he is. Get this missile drone going right now. Yeah, these guys are cooked. Is my shit gonna like actually start marking people or what? Or is it just gonna fly around? Pretend like I lost that gunfight. That kid is. Oh, GG.